welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video in my 2019 holiday baking series. You guys loved last week's video, so I am here again to share with you a delicious WW friendly holiday treat. Now this one is a special one. Not only is it all of the flavors of the holidays, it is WW friendly and it is made with real sugar. There is nothing sugar free or artificial in this recipe and it still is WW friendly and we can work it into our day. And let me just tell you, it is delicious. So if you want to see what I have in store for you for the second video in my 2019 holiday baking series, just stay tuned. For today's 2019 holiday baking video, we are going to be making a spin on the traditional Rice Krispie treat, and we are going to be making peppermint Rice Krispie treats perfect in time for the holidays. There is no artificial sugar in these, so if you are sensitive to that, this is going to be a huge win for a recipe for you. Great to make with your kids for the holidays. Super easy, super delicious, and super fun. So let me show you what is in our peppermint rice crispy treats. Of course, you're going to need some rice krispies. Candy canes, you can use the large or the mini because we are going to crush these up. White chocolate chips, I'm gonna be using the Bake Believe. If you use a traditional white chocolate chip, you are going to have to count extra points for that. So I guess in this case, this does have artificial sweetener. These are actually stevia sweetened, so one of the better artificial sweeteners. Again, you can substitute a regular white chocolate chip, just recalculate the points or lower the amount of white chocolate chips. You're also going to need some peppermint extract, light butter, and I'm gonna be using the Trader Joe's Peppermint Marshmallows. If you do not have a Trader Joe's near you, you can just use regular marshmallows because between the peppermint extract and the candy canes, you're definitely gonna have those peppermint vibes. So let's get started on these Rice Krispie Treats. So the first thing that I did is I measured out eight tablespoons or 120 grams of my white chocolate chips. That's a lot of white chocolate chips. So if you are going to use a traditional sugar chip, you definitely could half this and still have quite a bit of white chocolate. But these particular ones, you can have 15 grams, uh, which is one tablespoon. So I calculated 120 grams, eight tablespoons. So our very first step is we're gonna go ahead and add four tablespoons of, I can't believe it's not butter light, to a large pan because we're putting everything in here, our marshmallows, our Rice Krispies, all the things. So go ahead and add your butter. Once it starts to melt down, we're gonna add in our marshmallows. All right, our butter is just about melted, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our peppermint marshmallows. This is only a six ounce bag. The recipe calls for 12 ounces of marshmallows. My points are calculated on six because I wanted to keep the points a little bit lower, and I'm hoping that this is going to be enough marshmallows. So we're gonna let these peppermint marshmallows melt down a bit. By the way, you guys, they smell really, really delicious. So unfortunately, six ounces of marshmallows was not enough, so I would recommend two bags of the Trader Joe's peppermint marshmallows, or you can do what I did here and add in one bag of the peppermint marshmallows and then six additional ounces of just regular marshmallows. It just wasn't gonna be marshmallowy and thick enough to coat the cereal. So I'm gonna recalculate the points. I'm just gonna have to lower the portion size to keep the points reasonable. So. Of course, I'll let you know all of the points at the end. So I'm gonna let this melt a little bit more and we'll add in our extract and our cereal. So our marshmallows are just about melted. I did go ahead and remove it from the heat. I'm going to add in just the tiniest bit of the peppermint extract, literally just a couple of drops and stir that in. Now you can test it and make sure that it's pepperminty enough for you. And then we're gonna add in our riced cereal. All right, let's add in some cereal. So I'm gonna start with four cups of Rice Krispies. I do have an additional two cups here that we're gonna add in. So go ahead and add a portion of your cereal. Start stirring until your Rice Krispies are nice and coated with the marshmallow mixture. And then we'll get ready to put these into a pan. We are gonna be melting our milk chocolate and our candy canes. It's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna get this cereal all stirred in and I'll be back to show you the next step. All right, here's our marshmallow rice crispy mixture. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells 
so good pepperminty and sweet yum so i'm gonna go ahead and just get this pushed down i want my rice crispy treats to be pretty darn even in size and then we are going to melt our milk chocolate chips so here are our rice crispy treats look how nice and thick those are this is a six by nine pan so next i'm going to take my white chocolate chips here i'm going to throw those into the microwave just until they are melted so just about a minute or so until they're melted through and then we're going to spread those on top of our rice crispy treats and then we'll get ready to do our candy canes So for our candy canes, I went ahead and put six candy canes in my Ziploc bag. I just have a glass here and I'm just going to crush them. Lightly crush up the candy canes and then we're actually going to sprinkle those on top of the white chocolate. This looks so good, you guys. Cannot wait. So let me get these nice and crushed up and we'll sprinkle them on top. All right, so crushed up candy canes rice crispy treats so i'm just going to take my hand and i'm just going to sprinkle the candy canes over the top of the white chocolate they will stick nicely into those white chocolate chips when they dry you can even just kind of push them in if you're worried about them sticking but there's plenty to just put over the whole top of our rice crispy treats how fun what a festive twist on your regular everyday rice crispy treat so get these candy canes on there we're gonna let these cool and harden a little bit and then i'll cut them into the serving sizes and then i'll give you the smart points. So here they are. You can see that we've dug into them. I actually pulled one out to show you the size. My husband had a section. I had a section, you guys. These are D delicious they definitely have that feel of peppermint but not too overpowering the crunch of the candy canes is delicious the white chocolate yum so i cut mine into 24 servings so what i did i get a lot of questions about this is i cut it this way six times so into six pieces and then this way four and that gave 24 servings and this is the size of the serving so this is a small plate so i would say that the size of rice crispy treat is about a two by two square and remember these are made with marshmallows and candy canes and a two by two square or 24 of the recipes so 24 servings is five smart points so not bad if you're looking for a good treat to take to like a holiday party or gathering five smart points for a rice crispy treat is not too bad so happy holidays i hope that you enjoy making these with your family they taste delicious i will definitely tell you that in my opinion well worth five smart points because they taste really delicious thank you for joining me on my second video in my 2019 holiday baking series i hope you enjoyed these rice krispie treats they are so good i don't think they're going to be in my house but a day or two because my husband loves them and they are ww friendly and no artificial sugars so you can eat anything on this plan which is why i absolutely love it so much because you really can incorporate anything you just watch your portion sizes and you can add it into your day so if you're new to my channel welcome i do a holiday baking series every year around fall christmas all the holidays so make sure you subscribe hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I would love it if you would thumbs up this video. If you love holiday baking, it really helps out my channel and I very much appreciate it. And of course, leave those comments down below and let me know, are you gonna give this a try? It's a great one to take to holiday parties or to add to your spread this Christmas season. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Merry, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.